What's wrong with Micah? He won't say. He's, he's insisting he's on being special. the bad kid. So where are we supposed to be standing no, waiting for the bus? On the sidewalk. On the sidewalk. All right. Okay. And then when can you get on the bus? Stop. Stop. When the bus comes to a complete... <laughs> Stop. Stop. Are we going to Canada? No, we're going to Scandinavia. Scandinavia? Navia? How are we supposed to sit on the bus? <laughs> Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and not like that. Yeah. Come on. All right. Where should we have our feet and legs? On the floor. Should we be facing? Forward. Forward. All right. <laughs> Okay. Micah, are your legs back in the aisle? No. This is super hard to talk to people now. Alright, so how are we supposed to be talking on a bus? Quietly and And recess voice. Recess voice? No, not a recess voice. Yes, recess voice. And what about our language choice? Uh, use appropriate. English. Use, English. use appropriate language. Okay, kids, there is an emergency. So, first row, get off first, and then last row, get off last. Let's go. All right, we're going to do a real quick bus 360 safety tour. And here we are at one of our Pembine school buses. Right here we see the entry door into the school bus. But what's really important is these big wheels. Make sure that as you're coming around the bus, you don't get under the wheels. Even if you drop something or a ball rolls under there, notify the driver first. Let him find a safe time to put the bus in park and then get your ball or whatever is rolled under there. Don't forget the back emergency door is for emergencies only. It's not an exit for you to get on or off the bus as you are coming to or from school. And as we walk back towards the front of the bus, we all know that red stop sign that pulls out. That's one of those indicators that your bus is coming to a stop and is ready for you to get on board. Remember, don't wait for your bus driver to signal you to cross the street if you're going to do that. And then don't forget this crossing guard that comes out in front of the bus. That's for the bus driver. For those of you who are really short, sometimes you're you're really low in front of the bus and the driver can't see it on there so that wand comes out so that you'll walk way around the front of the bus so the driver can see you at all times. He doesn't lose track of you and he doesn't uh, have the bus in go while you're still out in the front. All right, everyone be safe on the bus and have a great school year.